Friday morning, or Friday-ish, it's actually one-ish, and um, I'm about to go attempt to go see my crush, and before I do that, I just wanted to show you guys exactly how I wash my shoes. I'm in my laundry room, and I'm about to throw them in the washer, but before I actually do that, I just wanted to say, um, hey man, this may be, I know I've said things like this, but this may be one of the last times that I actually go see my crush. Because, I mean, she's been sending off some pretty cryptic and some pretty, uh, you know, pretty uh, striking messages. So, yeah. Or signals. Anyway, so here are my shoes. And of course, I take off the laces, right? You know what, man? These shoes are dirty as hell anyway. And they're old. So, fuck it. They're going right in there. All I'm gonna do is just untie the laces. I'm a maverick. <laughs> or actually, I'm a renegade because that, I guess, is some Logan Paul shit. Yeah. So now they're inside of the washer. And I'm just gonna get some of that good old Arm & Hammer soap here. Push it on a lower setting for about 31 minutes. And there you go. But yeah, I'm gonna go see my crush. And, you know, um, I don't know really what to expect today. I've got this kind of big and wide flannel shirt. It's got some very nice looking ladies. And I think some surfer deeds. Yeah, there you go. It's got nice vibes on it. I think spring is in like total and full effect. And so now, you know, spring vibes. Kind of a windy day though. So I'm hoping that the spring vibes mixed with the windy day will make the store just less busy, right? Because maybe the wind makes it so that people don't want to go. I, I don't know. But, um, then again, I guess people are going to come to a video. Have rentals and I don't know. Dread like journey. I don't know why I didn't film in there, but uh, just got out from seeing my crush and I actually might go back a little bit later. I had to leave because her fucking boss came and this prick is basically like you know, cock blocking. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Hey, no, but no, it was, uh, it was pretty good though. You know, like we were just talking and shit, a lot of compliments and shit. She looks fucking great today. It's a hot day and she's dressed accordingly. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's a good day, good day. The outcome of my washer. Well, it's not the most white, but it, I don't know. I can tell they got cleaner. You know, at least like on the surface. They have more of a flow. Yeah, I don't think I did a uh, recap for what happened today when I went to go see my crush, but no. Um, or at least a full one. But no, it was a good conversation, man. You know, we talked. Um, maybe not too long, maybe for like an hour ish and um if that. And um you know, our manager ended up coming, so I had to like kind of bounce. Cause I guess that, you know, they don't want loitering from people that they know there, which sucks. But yeah, so now I'm kinda really Feeling the pressure to kind of have to, you know, ask this chick out and get her out of the work setting. <sighs> I'm in my car and um, just had a bit of a cry. Um.
there's just so many thoughts swirling in my head, and uh, I just, I just got really overwhelmed, and uh, I um, just think too much, and and I have a lot of energy right now, and. I've had, I've done this before, you know, I, I worked myself up because I want to be creative and I don't want to waste any hours of the day and I see times where I feel tired or lazy on the bed as just wasting time so I get mad at myself and then I don't see any of the productive things I do during the day and I only see that I have more time and more time and more time and what what should I be doing, what should I be doing and what should I be doing and I basically just deduced that uh, I just don't know what to do. I, I my parent, my mom, she was planning a uh, she was planning a trip out of the country, out to London. She wanted my brother and I to go with her. But man, I mean, she wants to do that in like June. And now I'm thinking about taking up a second job so that I can like further compensate, you know, this, my passions and shit. And I just don't have the time. And I just, and I was also thinking about some people that I've, you know, cut off or whatever. And just people that I just haven't treated the best and some people some of those people I just don't even have the opportunity to say sorry or can we talk or anything it's just dead today I mean my crush man it's just it's so fucking just I don't know man I I, I, I do look at other chicks I do Totally, I do, you know. But my thing is, is like, I like this girl. I really do. I like having conversations with her. They're, they're better than just flowing easy. They just, I like learning from her wealth of knowledge. And I don't know, I feel like when she's interested, which is actually more times than she lets on, but when, she in, when she's interested, I feel like, you know, I enjoy kind of letting her into my wealth of knowledge as well like I just it just sucks when someone doesn't see something that you want them to see so bad and you have to kind of take that that no you have to take that you know that no that rejection the thing that fucks me up is just knowing when to come back and fight again Call me a beta male or whatever, but man, I just, I was taught that, you know, some words just mean automatically just stop. And of course, you know, I haven't touched the girl or anything like that, but. I feel like I've talked it past the point of even being able to do anything. I've asked her out on several occasions and it's like, she, I don't know, man. But the conversations continue to be just better to, I don't know, man. The thing I also hate too is just that I know, here's the thing I know. I know that she's not going out into the world and meeting other people you know, as inquisitive, I mean, and this isn't even like cockiness on my part. This is just me just knowing, just living in the world myself. I, you know, I go out and I, I, you know, like my group of friends are just like me in some sense. I mean, I enjoy them, but you know, I'm, I'm now I'm experiencing a person who's, who's outside of that and is inside of a different zone. Her group of friends, I'm sure is the same. And, and you know, what she's described to me, it's like, you know, having a tighter knit, she has a tighter knit group similar to mine kind of, but my thing is, is just like, we're coming from two different, you know, perspectives here. 
we have both talked about how hard it is to see certain things in people and then we fucking find that shit in each other and now you're you're playing all these games and bullshit and it's like okay yeah i get it i mean being guarded is just smart and it is just what you have to do you know to protect yourself but at the same time it's like you know i mean again it's like i really can't sit and loiter in the store and i'm not gonna just sit here and go what like cause problems in there you know like that's just extra bullshit and she still just doesn't even see that and it's just like at least let me give this guy a shot like let's go get some fucking coffee or fucking anything i mean just i mean i don't know how you could have i i, I can't see how you can have a three hour long conversation with somebody and even admit that the, the time flowed by like it was nothing and not want to go see where that guy I, I don't i don't get it like and and you know yeah so I really didn't want to force anything. I went to my car, of course, just to have my cry, like I said. And um, what I didn't want to force, sorry, was um, my song. I started writing a song while I was in here. And, um, you know, I, I got my, my phone, so I'm playing my beats or whatever. And it's a song that's actually a little bit more hype, but it is about some emotion. And, you know, I'm liking the way that it's starting. And, you know, um, I'm just going to continue writing it. And see where it goes. It might end up on the mixtape. It might not. I don't know. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I think I, I want to do some PUBG streaming, though, um, before tomorrow. I think on my to-do list, though, it's just going to be bumped up higher to fix the smaller things that are still kind of affecting the stream. But um, besides that, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing with my night. So tragically, I um, ordered a cord for my second monitor here, and um, yeah, no, the cord came, came actually really early. It was supposed to come actually a week from now, but uh, the tragedy kicks in where when I plug in the cord and turn on the uh, computer, I realize, hey, we broke the screen years ago, I guess, because of course this is an old monitor that that we've had for years. So there's that. This is a very productive morning, very decent morning, Saturday. Um, I will be seeing my crush. And today, you know, I'm actually going in with some gumption because I actually have something to uh, invite her to. So, you know, yeah. And also, um, nothing. I'm gonna be inviting her to a uh, poetry thing that's happening inside of the city of San Bernardo. So, you know, hopefully she digs it, you know. Alrighty, I'm about to get ready so that I can um, go run some errands and then go see my crush and everything. And when I get back, I'll actually be testing if um, Slobs, that's actually the program that Streamlabs put out versus OBS. I don't know if you guys know about this. If, you, if you're not into streaming, you don't know anything about what I'm talking about, just skip over this. But anyway, I'm going to test that out because I actually found a way to import my overlay which was an image which I wasn't able to import originally into Slobs. So now with Slobs, Streamlabs OBS, I'll be able to actually run my stream at actually with more features and fun functions and possibly even smoother because, you know, it's, it's literally just one application versus where when I was running normal OBS, I had to run OBS and then I had to have Streamlabs open. You know, I, I, I finally today just decided, fuck it, why don't I just, you know, do Streamlabs only because it's like, I mean, it's literally all in one and it's getting better as it goes. I, I like projects like that. Anyway, that means that my streams are going to be looking better and having some more features and shit. So, yeah. Draw like journey. Hey, man. Be original. All right, it's Saturday here again for Crush Chronicles. And honestly, 
the fit I'm wearing today, I'm feeling pretty confident. I might even do a little video inside of there just so I can show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, like I said yesterday though, I've been kind of, oh shit. Oh shit, I've been kind of having some problems here because man, the fucking manager of the store she works at or the boss or whatever the fuck he is, that motherfucker is a cock blocker. He doesn't want any personal people with his cashiers, which, you know, I understand. But, um, yeah, so I'm trying to get in and out of here real quick. Asking her out to this, like, poetry thing, thing that um, I found out about by way of this center for the arts that is in San Bernardino that I am interested in. Make sense? Cool. Also, I pulled up. Also, I pulled up here, and all of a sudden, a huge wave of nervousness, like, has swept over me. So, I'm gonna take a dab to kind of calm me down, you know? You know? All right, took my dab. Let's get in there. In a very quick time, it was indeed. <clears throat> I ended up uh, asking out my crush to yet another event thing, um, this time to a uh, poetry reading thing that's happening um, in San Bernardino. Said no again. But this time she even gave me the added benefit of knowing that she's not even doing anything, she's not busy, she's just gonna be going home, going to sleep. literally forgot vlogging it but I got a new monitor another new monitor and I got it off of like offer up super sketchy time man like yeah. but it works so cool right now on my way to uh, another thing that I invited my crush to and I must attend alone poetry event out in San Bernardino. I, I was saying it's at the uh, Garcia Center. My morning jacket for you. I was saying it's at the uh, Garcia Center. My morning jacket for you. So, I straight into some very riveting um, poetry just now I'm in San Bernardino at the Garcia Center, and it's a pretty great time, so, yeah. You guys have a nice night. Oh, wait, no, I think I'm parked. Nope, no, I'm actually parked over here. I'm actually parked. Oh, and thank you for... Um when I read uh, Poets and Allies Egypt for saying congratulations. Um, pretty good time at the San Bernardino Center for the Arts. Arts at Garcia Center. I'm at the Garcias. Wonderful people. Yeah. <laughs> Got done filming the Rambling Rogue show. Did it with the old setup in front of the Tyler poster on this one. So, yeah, yeah. Just editing out the Rambling Rogue show that I'll have out later today, Sunday. Um, pretty much, yeah, that's it. Got my new monitor. I'm loving it, enjoying it. And uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, that's pretty much it. Garcia Center was cool last night, you know, and um, I did really appreciate the, the things that I saw there, and I'm definitely going to be returning, so get ready to be seeing that place a little bit more, guys. Uh, yeah. Nice little Sunday lunch. I'm noticing now that uh, as I create more and more, and as that becomes like more of my life, my daily life, Man, I'll tell you, I really do not eat as many full meals as I should. Like, some days, I'll even go, like, the whole day without any, eating anything solid. Literally, the whole entire day. Look at them dreads. Look at that Clark Kent dread. Look at that, look at that. Ooh! 
Superman on these old.